but there are occasions where we use two point on larger sizes. Okay, let me help you out. When, if we put this part, if we put this part in a lathe, usually it's a three, a three jaw chuck, right? So we clamp that into a lathe, we bore a hole in it, okay? Measure that while it's in the chuck, it's very round, it's, it's all, all, all good. If we then take it out of the chuck, the material relaxes, and we've actually got a very small amount of trilobing because of the way the material was crushed and then released. So that hole has become triangular, very, very slightly. With a three point, if we put, if we rotate that, we'll find a point where the anvils fit that trilobe and we'll get a bigger reading. And if we rotate that around, we'll find the point where the anvils are across the, the lines of, those, of that triangle, you see what I'm saying? And we'll get the smallest reading. And because this isn't a micrometer operation, I'm not jacking those out, I can actually reverse that, that anvil, right? So as I've got form, if I rotate that, I can see the number changing. So trilobing is something that you can a you're able to detect with a three-point head. Where do you